Mr. Paul. In this episode, we are featuring something I've never tried before, and it is called laksa sarang. Sarang means nest. And what did you think of it? I thought it was really interesting. When I heard nest, like we'd already had um, Rati Chennai sarang gorong, which is like bird's nest. So I was like, how are they gonna make a bird's nest laksa? Then when I saw how they like deep fry this egg and make this like big thing and pack it in, I was like, that's actually really interesting. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. So laksa sarang coming up next. And also we have curry mee, mm -hmm. curry mee in KL. Yeah. And then I show you how to make a dry curry mee, easy version. I oh, know, I had to have curry mee twice. Oh, it was so tough. Mmm, deliciousness. <laughs> and finally, we have the legendary Chef, Chef Dave, Dave, who makes a vegan version of... Laksam. Laksam. I We've mean... seen Rene Johari and Zaleha. Zaleha make a Laksam a couple of episodes ago. But this time it's a vegan version. And what did you think? I know, it was it was crazy for me because like the texture of the broth, it's like a fish broth. So how do you replicate it without fish? I'm not gonna say anymore. Just watch the video, especially for our vegan viewers. You're gonna love this. <laughs> okay. I'm good. Um, so you're making uh, laksa, laksa sarang. sarang. Yes. Laksa sarang means a bird's nest, is that right? Yes, yeah, something okay. like that. But it's not the original bird nest. The sarang we make it from egg. From egg. Yeah. Okay. Are you using like the whole egg or using egg? Yes, the whole all? egg. Okay, interesting, interesting. I've never tried this, so I'm very okay. keen to try. Now we are in Ipoh at Mu Hotel. Yes. And uh, Ip is Ipoh famous for this laksa? Yeah. Okay. So we put the uh, hundred ml of water okay okay very easy one sure. Don't worry. and do you yeah. always only use ikan kembung or do you use other types of fish as well uh if our original perak one we just use ikan kembung okay but different state in uh, malaysia we use different fish okay but sure. normally when you talk about asam laksa normally uh, you have uh, ikan kembung right uh ikan sardin sardin uh, okay and yeah. then something like uh, ikan mabo uh, because mabung. the the meat is Similar. Sure, sure, uh, right. sure. Okay. But in Perak, we just use uh, the Okay, interesting, interesting. So we put the uh, bunga kantan. Okay. okay. Now I want to ask you because uh, in my part of Malaysia, mm -hmm. when we talk about laksa, we think of curry laksa. Do you, okay. do you have curry laksa in yes. Ipoh? Okay, yes. okay, sure. The curry laksa is, we use the curry powder. Okay. When you talk about this one, is asam laksa. Okay. No we, use the curry powder. Sure, sure. Yeah. So, so usually when someone asks for laksa in Ipoh, do you automatically think asam laksa or do you automatically think curry laksa or do you have to ask them which type? Uh, normally we, 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 when you order the, the laksa, normally you understand already it's, it's the laksa. Uh, is, the, is this one? Yeah, it's yeah, this, this one. Type. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So you're actually boiling the yes. mokantan with yeah. it, yeah? Boiling together. Okay. Okay, then we put the, the fish. fish. Okay. I already measured all, yeah? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So this one is a uh, lachan. Okay. Okay. But this one is uh, up to the customer or up to you, you you when you cook. Yeah. Okay. If you don't want to cook, also can. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right. Sure. So, so the belacan, like how much water do you mix with the belacan to make this? Just aga uh, aga. aga, aga. <laughs> something okay. like aga, aga. because sure. uh, not because the belacan to make it the smell and the flavor a little bit. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sure. Sure. So we. <laughs> We just uh, wait until boiling. Okay. And then you can put the chili curry. Chili curry? Oh, this yeah. is just chili curry? Yeah, no just salt, chili no curry. sugar, no, no, nothing no, in no, it. Nothing. Okay, so it's dry okay. chilies, you soak in water. It's up to you. So if you want, if you like something like spice, uh -huh. you can put more. Okay, sure, sure. Okay, but if you ask me for the original pera one, mm. we just put a little bit. Okay. Because sure. uh, the ganshin, you have the. Okay, the chilies one. as well, sure. Yeah. Okay, so chili curry. So yeah. You wait until boiling. Okay. Then you have to. And then, okay. Oh, the Last but not least, 
Dah asam keping Sure That's the okay. dry To make it candles. the Sour, sure. sourness. Okay. okay. You put quite a lot in there. Yeah, yeah two or three. Okay. After after you taste, then you got the, the taste sour. of the sour. Sure. You can remove. Okay. Okay. You don't put any sugar in there. Yeah. Not yet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I can see the red fern, yes. the orange fern coming through. It's yeah. coming from a chili. Okay. Right. Okay. But so far the soup is very light, you know, yeah. compared to what you see. Okay. Yeah. I have already the the one that you already made before. Yeah. Okay. Because so you have to boil this for like yes, this is like one yes, and a half hours yes, or something. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, so okay. Take, right? Okay. So sure. Sure. Change. Yep. Yep. So one and a half hours later, magically yes. it turns into this. <laughs> the pot's also grown bigger. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is the thing. Okay. After we done lah. Okay. Do you strain it or you just no use it like it? Okay. okay. So Very after that, mm -hmm. we just we want to serve. Yep. Okay. Just take the laksa noodle sure. as much as you need. Sure. You just need to blanch the noodle only. Yep, sure. All the fresh ingredients you just put on the top. Okay, sure. And the noodles is actually already cooked, you just softened yes, it up. Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So you blanch. Yeah. Not too long because later the noodle broken. Okay, sure. Okay. Just put the ingredients. Okay. This is the cucumber. Sure. Is it always these ingredients or yes. do some people use it? Okay, no okay. tauge yet. No tauge, no pineapple. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, because uh, when you put pineapple, automatic become a pinang already. Okay, uh, sure. <laughs> okay. So very onion. So nothing is fried, it's all just no. boiled. Yeah. yeah. So it's Chili. very healthy. Chili. Okay. And the mint leaf. Okay, the oil hot already. Wow, it's very hot. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then you just work. Oh, it. wow. Oh, that's a good tip. Yeah. Then after that, open the oh, fire. Wow. Okay. okay. Okay, so we just put the gravy. As you can see, the color is not red. Yeah. It's something like brown. Yeah. Then a little bit red on the top. Sure. Uh, so th that is the difference between laksa perak. Yeah. Okay. You can hear the crispy. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Then, green. Okay. It's amazing. Yeah. Right. Wow. So it becomes a rasa sarang already. Cool. Great, great, great. A little bit more. Yeah. And this one, the, the petis udang? Yeah, yeah. The petis udang, you can put later or okay. you can put now. Okay. Okay. Because the potato sudang is little bit uh, sweetness and yeah. salty, sure, sure. so you just put. Okay, bit. sure. But it depends on the certain people lah. If they like something like sweetness and yeah. saltiness, mm -hmm. then you can put more. Okay. Uh, cool. Same like the calamansi lah. Sure, if you like so it, this is sour. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much for this, Welcome. chef. This was amazing. Yeah. Looking forward to trying this. Yes. And looking forward to your recipe as well. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Thanks, thank you. Thank chef you, thank you I'll see you next time. Yeah. Thank Ciao. you.
So that's long beans, yeah. roast pork. Yeah. Roast pork, you make your own? Uh, no, no. You buy? Uh, yeah. Oh, you buy. I yeah. thought, okay, alright. So we put the This is the soup one, yeah? When I used to make this, I kind of uh, would just make a chicken curry and then serve it with noodles. But uh, Debbie Tua, our master of Malaysian cuisine chef, she gave me her recipe for dry curry mee. To be fair, this is uh, based on Ipoh dry curry mee, which doesn't necessarily come with chicken curry. Okay, so I'm kind of like splitting the difference. I'm making my usual chicken curry me uh, but with some elements of Debbie's dry curry me recipe okay so and I'm gonna take some shortcuts as usual so let's get this going uh, I've got some chicken these are just chicken pieces that have been chopped up and I want some curry powder right it's a Malaysian curry powder and I also want some chili powder this is also a Malaysian chili powder and it's very mild, which means I can use more of it to produce that vibrant color. Now, Debbie's recipe calls for galangal and turmeric, but in fresh form. Again, I'm using some shortcuts here. I'm using galangal powder and turmeric powder, which you can easily find at your Asian grocery store. Another shortcut here is some ginger and garlic paste that I'm gonna throw in a little bit because I like ginger and I like garlic, but I'm also adding some fresh garlic as well, okay? and lemongrass and also uh, onion so I'm using instead of peeling and uh, mincing fresh onion I'm using just dried onion over here again you can use dried onion or fried onion or fried shallots okay so let's just combine all these ingredients together curry powder very aga aga okay turmeric and galango in there some of the chili powder, okay, some ginger and garlic paste here, some fresh garlic, you can use dried garlic if you like, I prefer not to use, uh, you know, the minced garlic in bottles they never seem to taste quite the same uh, so we've got these what we want to do mix all this into a paste add some water to help it along bit of oil it's 
So you want to just fry this up. And because I actually have to fry up the chicken as well, right? I'm going to throw the chicken in very quickly. I'm going to add some curry leaves from my balcony. Not a lot because that's all I can spare. If you've got more, add more, yeah? Add the chicken pieces. Probably want a bit more curry powder in here. in the lemongrass. This is frozen so now that it's defrosted it's quite soft but usually you'll want to just pound the head of the lemongrass right just to help it to the, help the flavors to release more easily into your food. some seasoning to this. I'm going to put a little bit of chicken powder. Pinch of salt, a little bit, just a little bit of sugar. There's the salt. to the dish, you know. But a little bit goes a long way, so just be careful how much you add. How long it takes really depends on how big your chicken pieces are and whether they're on the bone or off the bone. coconut cream to this because I tend to like my curries quite creamy. And while the chicken is cooking, you want to separately prepare some noodles and usually with this dish, um, you can use really all kinds of noodles but more typically you would probably find it served with like a wonton noodle, certainly in my part of Malaysia anyway. So these are the wonton noodles that we're using and I've just separately boiled it in a separate pot of water. noodles. 
interestingly enough, in Ipoh, this was served to us on with Ipoh Kui Tiao, which is a uh, rice noodles, which is not typical in my part of Malaysia. But obviously, Ipoh is famous for its rice noodles because they're very soft and very delicate. So, there you go. Okay, have a go. Let me know how it turns out. Dave, um, I've travelled all over Malaysia and I've tried all kinds of laksa. I have not tried a vegan one yet. So okay. tell me what you're making. Okay, so basically vegan laksa, I have tried like four different types. One is Sarawak laksa, I made it into vegan yeah. restaurant. And uh, Penang laksa, and then uh, curry laksa, the laksa lemak, the yeah. melaka one. And also laksa. So this is the vegan blood chan or okay. vegetarian blood chan. There's two forms, one is the raw, yeah. like a ball, and one more is like in a powder form which you oh, can buy okay. online here in Malaysia. Okay. But this one normally I get from morning market. Okay, so you actually it's actually fresh, is it? Yeah. Oh it's nice, very... nice. So for my sambal, very simple, just some red chili. Sure. So I'm using about five, just uh, you know, just um, you want to cut them or just pluck them like this will sure. do and then some chili padi okay. to give you extra heat sure uh, and then belacan I put about 1 to 2 tablespoon okay now I'm, okay. I'm wondering with the chili padi why is it green? why is it always just green? I, I see that a lot in Malaysia yeah there's red, red, red as well red. Yeah. yeah there is red and green both sure. the red one is more spicy than the green okay. one so it depends for me I would like to mix both so okay. that it gives you a nice color sure. and then I will add some brown sugar or you can use gula melaka okay. so it's totally up to you cool. and some salt or you can use soy sauce as well Oh, so okay. it's totally depend on how you want to make it and okay. some mushroom powder okay. you know, uh, you can avoid this if you don't want it it's totally fine, no sure. any issue and, uh, lime first okay. and then if I need more, I can just add more in sure, you don't use calamansi, you just use normal lime? yeah, okay. I just use normal lime if you want to use calamansi, you can but for laksa, I would like to add calamansi at last to put as a topping okay. that people can squeeze in sure yeah, so Calamansi is quite hard to get a hold of in yeah. Australia, so oh, okay. normal line actually works quite well. So now we just want to blend them. This is much yeah. faster than uh, Kumbu. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, I love to use this. Okay, so basically now we're gonna taste. So when you texted me, I was like. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> no, too bad. No, 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 no. I mean, like, well, tomorrow once I rest a uh, whole day, it will be fine. Sure. But uh, this is like an opportunity to cook together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now our sambal blackcurrant basically is done. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to transfer them in a bowl. So vegan laksa normally goes with fish, right? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Any laksa, they normally come yeah. with fish except the curry laksa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, for this, the simplest one you can use vegetarian fish, which come in a block with yeah. the seaweed and sure, all that. Sure. But personally, I don't really like it okay. because of the texture, more like a tofu yeah. and too soft. So when you blend it, it become it doesn't give you a weight of the fish texture. Sure. Uh, so I would love to use soy meat. This we call soy meat or soy chan. So it's a okay. dry version of soy texture okay okay you can you get know? this quite easily actually. yeah like and it's very Asian cheap source. as well so yeah. you just soak them in the water sure. so you will get this uh, as i said it won't give you 100 percent like fish kind of texture sure. but it's better than the mock fish sure. so now what we're going to do is just going to take this okay <clears throat> just add into the blender so you just soak it in cold water yeah 
okay. just so we can call what we will do. Sure. So what we're going to do now to have the fishy flavor, I'm just going to add in uh, one or two pieces of this uh, Japanese seaweed. Ah, seaweed. Okay. We just tear them and just sure, add sure. them in to have that uh, flavor. So some people like to add a bit more. Okay. So it just basically depends on how much you want to add in, no any issue. Okay. So the water you just add uh, same level as the uh, soy milk. Okay, so is it cold water or hot yeah, water? Yeah, just cold water okay, also. Sure. Adding some onion, so okay. I put about two medium size, about two uh, garlic, blend them. Feel like it's really like a uh, thick, right? Yeah. So what it looks just... like the fish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So just sure. add a bit of water. Sure. And don't blend it too fine as well. Okay. I think just nice. Sure. So just turn on your uh, stove and get a pot and just pour them in, so you can see the texture. It's like a. Uh, okay. You know. So just have to pound them a bit. Uh, even you can just add in one. Bit. Sure. Just pound them a bit. Sure. And just add in. And now very important, coconut milk. Uh, so just put about uh sixty percent of it. Okay. And the remaining forty percent just keep it here. Sure. And just give a good stir because it shouldn't be like too thick. It should be a bit like saucy kind of okay. texture. Not like too big fire. Okay. And add in your asam topping. So I'm just going to add in here a bit. Sure. So it depends. Some people like it to be spicy, some not. But I like it to be just on the medium side. Sure. So not too much. Just, sure. just uh, nice enough for you. Sure. So once it start to boil, make sure the fire has to be just like medium. Just let it slowly simmer. Sure. So? Okay, so after like you know 10 minutes and so, especially the raw onion smells has cut down a little. Yeah. So now make sure you adjust all your seasoning or you can yeah. adjust even after. So you still have remaining about you know 40% of the coconut milk, just add in sure. and just let it simmer for another 5 minutes. Okay. So for noodles, uh, it's very simple and straightforward recipe. Just use uh, rice flour, about okay. 2 third cup, okay. or you can use 1 and half cup if you are doing a lot, but sure. I just you know, doing sure. a little for this, so I need sure. just about two third cup of rice flour, sure. uh, about one tablespoon of uh, this uh, wheat flour, yeah, yes. wheat flour, yes. the pongandum. Yeah. So that's it. So we're just going to add some salt, and then we're going to add about uh, roughly about one cup of water. Sure. So you just mix <coughs> this is about two thirds. So I'm just adding this and more. Sure. So that there's no any really lump in it. Sure. So once this uh, laksam uh, sauce is done, this is my own take on to this because you know being a vegan version, it doesn't really give you a lot of that fishy flavor and to the depth of for that sauce. Sure. So I would love to add in you know sometime uh, bunga kantan. Okay. I just cut it into half and sure. put in, sure. and also some kusum so that it give you more aromatic to sure. the uh, finishing sauce. Sure. So I'm just going to add in some down kusum. No need sure. to do anything. Just add in. And just leave it there once the fire is off. Okay. So it's up to you whether you want to do it or yeah. not. Sure. So down for some is uh, what Vietnamese, we call laksa leaves or yeah. Vietnamese mint. Yeah. And muang kantan is a ginger torch. Torch ginger. Yeah. Torch ginger flour. Yeah. So yeah. So I okay, just put a sticker like this. Or you want to use steamer, more than welcome to use. There's no any issue. Sure. So that is the easiest way to yeah, do it. Yeah, that's the easiest way to. Yeah make things make your life easy as well okay, okay so our mixture is ready sure. so i don't think so you can make a lot from this but maybe <laughs> about three or four you know noodles sure. but uh then uh sure. you know at, at the tray so that it doesn't stick later sure. once your noodle is done sure. and make sure your wok is really hot one you just put this in first and sure. just let it steam for a while sure sure ladle of this and just put it there maybe you don't need even one ladle 
because the more you put the more it will turn out to be so i think this is just nice as long as it cover most of the space sure. and maybe a bit more that is here oh sorry sure. taste the deluxe summer so for this you have to very thinly slice them okay. in order to have a nice or else it will be fibrous and not really nice to sure. Uh, eat them so you have to really thinly slice them. And you can get some calamansi sea lime, just throw away the top of it, sure. Then we can squeeze into the black sound later. Okay, okay, once you see it's like a some water drips on top and it's sure. yeah so means it's done so you just have to take them out and and then you can start rolling them so it's maybe a bit hard you can see this a bit like a sure uh how to say uh the bar yeah a bit thick, thick yeah. a bit thicker so you always have to make sure uh don't pour too much in sure and then just slowly roll them since you already put oil in it so it's a bit easy for you to take them out actually sure okay so now basically all our uh, ingredients are done for the laksam just have to assemble them so what I'm going to do now first of all just uh, scoop some sauce and just place in the into the okay. plate first or in a bowl or shallow okay. plate or whatsoever it is sure, sure. Uh, this I just love to plate them nicely like in a hotel <laughs> and then okay here's the noodle so just need to cut them. Oh, so it's quite soft. Yeah, it's quite soft and especially it's hot now. Sure. Yeah. Just add all these condiments sure. on the sambal. Great. Oh, yeah, so basically that's uh, simple and easy. Simple and easy. Like, oh my god, how long did that take you? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh wow, that looks yeah. beautiful.